Hi gorgeous soul and welcome to this Friday Flow video. My name is Annika Soma Frey and I'm a Soul Connectrix and Alignment Coach. And today we talk about making decisions from your soul. So in this day and age, we all have to make so many different decisions every single day. And they don't get easier by having so much to choose from. Like literally there is there comes overwhelm if you have too much choices, too many choices. I have seen it firsthand when I had my market stall and I sold chocolates and cake pops and I developed products after products and I loved them all. But at some point we needed to edit the content of our stall because people got overwhelmed and they didn't choose anything in the end because they couldn't. They couldn't make a decision and they just left. And that's what's happening all over the world right now with all the choices. May it be partners or products or experiences, where to live or what to eat. It's like all these different choices and all that brings overwhelm into our system. Because when we try to make these decisions from a place of our logical or analytical mind, and try to make pro and con lists and all of that, we don't get to an answer. There's another way. It is connecting to your soul and checking in what is in alignment with your highest timeline, with your soul path, with the one that you chose for this lifetime. And your choice might be a very different one from the person next to you. Now it all depends on how your soul connects to you, how your soul speaks to you. Usually it's always through the body. Your soul speaks through your body with you. So one simple thing is to drop into your body, really feel it, connect to every single part of it, and then speak your choice out loud or in your head if you want to speak your choice out loud and feel if your body expands and relaxes which is usually a yes or if it contracts and gets smaller and denser which is usually a no from a soul perspective so let me give you an example you're sitting in a restaurant and you're reading the menu and you can't decide at all so you go to the to the broader areas and you go like do i want a salad or do i want um pasta today and you say i'm gonna eat pasta and you feel that your heart expands and you go like oh yes that feels good and then you go i'm gonna eat salad and your body might go mm, or your, your body might go mm, yes that sounds good too so have a look at the pasta dishes that include a salad for example and then you narrow it down to two to three choices and then you say them out loud. You say, I'll take the pasta with the tomato pesto and the cucumber salad. And you feel how your body goes like, mm, yes. And that's the place where you can make decisions from fueled from your soul. Of course, everybody's soul connects differently. We all have our traumas and programming where we can't open up enough to receive that directly in our body and be embodied. So your soul might be just a whisper inside your head. Your soul's voice might come to you in your dreams and actually communicate to you there and show you what's next on your soul, soul's path. Um, it might be that you only receive information from your soul in meditation and that's totally fine too. It might be that your soul communicates with you when you're on the water. I have heard that surfing is amazing for this. I myself heard my soul very, very clearly every time I went scuba diving, so underwater. So make sure that you know in which circumstances you hear your soul the best and when you have a big decision to make when you go into overwhelm and, and see yourself retracting and going like oh no i can't make any choice because this is too much for me 
then go into that place that might be inside of you or outside in the forest at the beach somewhere where you can hear your soul and communicate with it and from that place making decisions gets easy because there's always only one choice that is right for the timeline you want to live on Whew. Such a big topic. I could talk for literally an hour, but I want to keep this Friday flow video short and sweet. I hope you got value from this. If you did, please like, subscribe, love, do all the things that you can do with this video. And I hope I see you soon again here. May your life be filled with flow. Mwah.